So as you guys probably saw, now it's Xbox's time to announce some stuff. And I'm still here at Summer Game Fest, checking out some games behind the scenes and doing stuff like that. If it sounds like I lost my voice, it's because I kind of did. But there is a bunch of stuff I want to talk about. Uh, most notably, just new games. That's all I wanted. That's what I got. Uh, so just so you know, though, this isn't like me grading the presentation or giving you a play by play of every single thing. What I do over here, I just talk about the stuff that interests me. So I'm going to point out some of the games that really stood out uh, with the first one being in exiles uh, clockwork revolution. This is very much my shit. Can I say shit yet in the video? Is this going to get demonetized in exile? As you guys know, traditionally make more hardcore PC get they're the wasteland guys. Uh, and this is very much like a first person RPG. I did check. It does have an RPG angle to it. And I think a lot of that is going to come into this choice decision making stuff. The trailer kind of implied that your, your choices are going to shape like the way the future. Like, again, that's really ambitious. There are so many games that have said things like that. Uh, but I think either way, I just really like the aesthetic of this game. Like this is immediately a world I want to be up in. It kind of reminds me of Bioshock Infinite, but like what I was kind of wanting from Bioshock Infinite to go harder into like the weird, quirky industrial revolution steampunk type thing there's a lot of that here from the weapons to the enemies and then of course the possibly changing environments i really did not expect in exile to do a first person shooter like this at all but i'm glad they are <laughs> after seeing this because it go again goes back to what i said in another video about lies of p like it might not necessarily be like my type of game or i might be bad at it but sometimes like a game setting and atmosphere makes me want to dig it more and and this is the same type of thing where like i'm in it like the rpg stuff is going to be cool but i'm in it to see what the hell this whole weird place they created is i'm not even a big like steampunk guy or anything like that but like Big experiences that are framed in this steampunk style come around not so often, so I wanna see it. And speaking of uh, wanting to see things, I wanted to see more Hellblade. It, I, it's like one of my most anticipated since it was announced because I love the original so much. Uh, the thing that they showed here was kind of weird. It, it was just like a questionable scene to show because to be honest, like it, it wasn't that exciting. It was just kind of like a weird, trippy cutscene. Didn't really give us a sense of the game or the gameplay. And that's interesting because like we've already gotten snippets of playable gameplay. This was just kind of Senua in like a weird descent into madness type of thing, which like you expect if you played the original game. But like, again, it just didn't really show us anything other than that the graphics are good. And we already knew that. Also, I was hoping for a release date and that's still not happening, but that's fine. Take your time. I want that game to be good. Then there was Avowed. Avowed, uh, it actually surprised me in terms of how different it looks than what I was expecting. So when Avowed was, Avowed was first revealed, I guess it was when they were like really first starting work on it and it was more of like a conceptual thing because the original Avowed trailer came off very generic. It was using magic, using a sword, fighting skeletons in a castle. It was just like fantasy ass fantasy where here we got to see an actual good sense of what it is and this kind of cool blend between uh, sorcery and knights and magic and flintlock pistols and weird over the top creatures a lot of that stuff kind of reminded me of like maybe stuff they learned from outer worlds but even getting used to the new vibe the cool setting the, you know the whole presentation of it it does seem kind of like what i want or what we wanted or expected obsidian's take on a new kind of fantasy type of thing as you know they did new vegas and stuff like they've been around the Bethesda RPG thing and Outer Worlds was kind of a spin on that. And, and this is going to be their own spin on that, where they go deeper into the stories, the interesting side quests, the branching narratives like that's where Obsidian really excels. Again, they did it with Outer Worlds, but a different genre this time. Then there was the uh, cool like gameplay trailer thing for Cyberpunk DLC, the, the whole Phantom Liberty expansion. And I really just like seeing Keanu Reeves go on stage again and like talk to introduce it. It's just funny. I just like fade to like fade up from black to Keanu Reeves, who's like, hi. Hi. I don't know. It's just like when he says like one word things, it always makes me laugh. But he seemed like he was happy to be there. And then he like scurried away at the end of the, like, why? <laughs> Check it out. But uh, it's cool to see Johnny Silverhand like still in the swing of things and really get a good sense of what this adventure is going to be. And I didn't get to check this out at Summer Game Fest, unfortunately, but a lot of people I know did. And I've talked to them a lot about it. And 
it sounds like it's like pretty awesome. People have been like really singing the praises of this thing, like with like total like RPG mechanics overhauls, uh, overhauls to how like how you're upgraded and everything. The game's actually going for a little bit more of like a cyber psychosis thing. So I'm, I'm actually really curious to see how this is going to go down. The people who stuck around with Cyberpunk uh, have been happy. So hopefully this kind of keeps that momentum. Then there was this one I really liked. Uh, this is Jusant, Jusant, I don't know how to say it, uh, but this is from Don't Nod, uh, and it's the climbing game. It's like that weird indie climbing game, but it seems like something I'm absolutely into. It's more of like a exploration, traversal type thing. I like games where they actually think about the, the climbing mechanic. It's not just like press up to go. It seems like there's gonna be a little bit more going on here mechanically. And thankfully, like that's actually coming out this fall. So I'm looking forward to probably jumping into that in between a million other games <laughs> releasing. But to me, the appeal was really that it just kind of reminded me of Eco, you know, like the old classic game, the, the game that they did before Shadow of Colossus. Uh, it kind of just looked like climbing eco, and that's a good pitch for me. Oh man, and then one thing that was like very cool, but also a bummer was South of Midnight because they did the thing where they don't show us what the game is or show actual gameplay. Like we just got this cool scene of this like spooky haunted guitar ghost playing the guitar and then a character walking up to him. Uh, the character was actually playing the guitar accurately, like his fingers were hitting the right strings and I like to see that, uh, but there's not really too much to go on yet. This is Compulsion Games, uh, the people who did We Happy Few, a game that I did not like, but I liked the world. I liked the things they were trying with it. Uh, so I'd like to see what else they could build. So that's why I was excited about this. And I don't know yet. I like that the art style and it's almost like the frame rate of it gives off kind of like an animated Spider-Verse type vibe. You know, you might not see it at first, but just like you look at the way the characters animate, you look at the way the textures are, that type of thing. Also the main character, like nothing to go on yet. Like she walked up and it was like, oh, okay, main character video game girl. But then once she spoke, I thought the voice acting was pretty good. So I'm really interested to see where that goes. Uh, and then there's Star Wars Outlaws, which of course, like as a Star Wars boy, like of course I'm happy. I'm the more Star Wars games, the better in my opinion. But uh, as of the time of making this, I haven't seen the gameplay yet from the Ubisoft thing, but it's an open world Star Wars game from Massive, the people behind uh, The Division, and I think the people who are also behind, or like a, another team also doing the Avatar Frontiers of Pandora game. And so what I like about The Division and I like about them is that they build really cool worlds. So I'm excited to see like what kind of Star Wars world they really build out. This does seem, despite them calling it like the, the big open world Star Wars game, uh, it's still story based and you're playing as this character. And I know some people definitely wanted to make their own character and go on a Star Wars adventure, like right after Jedi Survivor, like another one like that, I could have used a refresher and made my own smuggler, but I like Star Wars, so I just want to see where this goes. Oh dude, and then the new Cities game and the fact that it's coming out, like they have a release date for, I was so happy. They showed so much of it and it was so funny, like being in the room, like a presentation for a city builder is not that exciting. Like, you know, you're you're in a room, a room, a crowd full of, a crowd full of people, like a stadium and like, it's just videos of people dragging and dropping pipes and managing taxes and energy rates. But like, I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love City Skyline. So like, I'm really excited for this one. Uh, the individual management of skyscrapers, like the level of detail, it seems like they're going triple insane on. So I'm very much looking forward to playing that and you'll never see me again. Also, just in terms of comedy bits, uh, like a dragon, infinite wealth, the whole thing with him waking up on the beach naked, Classic. It was definitely like an Austin Powers type bit, but I love that bit. I still think that shit's really funny and I was I was laughing my ass off and I'm really excited to see more of that because is it going to be them in a completely an American setting? We know it's gonna be dual protagonists. It's gonna be both him and Kiru, so uh, I wonder if they're both gonna be in different settings. Is one person gonna be in America? Is one person not? I don't know, but as someone who likes Yakuza but also likes the changes and the new weird spins. I already talked about the man who changed his name in, in the PlayStation video or the whatever, or that SGF video if you want to check that out. Yeah, I'm just about it. But I, I think a lot of you guys are probably here because you wanted to hear me talk about Fable. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, it's exciting that Fable's still a thing. Uh, the only problem is that like, I, I still just don't really know what the game is. People are like, well, it's Fable. They showed that it's Fable. It's still funny, it's fantasy. Yeah, but it's just like marketing. It was just like an exciting comedy trailer. I was hoping to see more, unfortunately. Like I just, these types of trailers don't really do too much for me, especially when it's a game like I already know I want. Like I don't need like a little setup and a lead up. Like I'm good, just show me 
what it really is. Like how similar is it going to be to the old ones? Is it doing something completely different? It seemed like little spots in this trailer were actually gameplay, I think but those were in super short cuts. And again, that doesn't really tell me too much about the game. Is this more of like a cinematic adventure than like an open RPG type of thing? They are calling it an RPG still, but like, I, I just wanna know what level that's at. Still, uh, <laughs> in the thing when uh, the chicken was kicked, that was like my, that was like my like Spider-Man coming, like Spider-Man coming through a portal moment. I was like, yeah, chicken chaser. So I'm really glad the humor is there. F from that sense, I thought all that stuff was really, really good, but I don't have too much to talk about because there, there isn't anything. And uh, then last but not least, Starfield, of course. Uh, I was skeptical of Starfield. I was like, yeah, cool. Like I want to play Skyrim in space, but like, what's the thing? What's the hook? And now after seeing like 45 minutes of it, uh, I, even like <laughs> 15 minutes in, I was like, all right, I'm good. Like, all right, I get it now. Thank you, I'll buy it. But they showed a lot and I haven't seen like that level of just showing everything in a while from like a big game developer publisher. And it was nice to see. It's nice to know exactly what you're getting into. Uh, and it seems to me, for me, the main appeal and why I'm excited now is just to jump in and do stuff and like kind of feel like some of their other games where you never really end up finishing the story or it takes a long time because you get so caught up doing the other stuff. I'm so looking forward to building my ship. Uh, I said that when they last showed gameplay, but now so now even more managing the crew going around. I definitely kind of want to try and make like um, the most evil kind of Star Warsy guy I can. I'm going to force this game to be Star Wars because that's how I want to role play. But the combat looks a little bit more solid. I liked all the character stuff, how that's going to work out and the little quirks the character traits and pasts can bring. Also, I'm a sucker for a watch and I like that they like announced a watch. Uh, <laughs> like big expensive collector's editions like that. If I don't know if the game's going to be good or not, like I get nervous about like pre-ordering that shit. I don't really do that. But the only thing I'm not really about is like anytime they showed characters on screen, I was just not into it. Like the whole constellation, the group, the leaders, they all seem generic and they look like randomly generated NPCs that like, I don't know if I can get like emotionally invested in. And they really haven't talked much about the story at all. And I wonder if that's maybe strategic because it's not about the story or the story is not the strong suit. The story is just like a mechanism to serve all the other stuff. That's my only thing that I'm still not really into, but everything else, like I said, from the combat to the way just like exploration works, the space travel, the space combat, actually, I thought looked pretty decent, if simple, like still satisfying. The only thing is 30 frames per second on console, which, yeah. Otherwise though, like I'm still looking forward to this way more than I was now that I've seen it all. Um, it's weird that this game just needed to do that for me, but either way, my original point still stands where like I'm the most interested in this one because they're doing something different. They've worked on Fallout and Elder Scrolls forever and the fact that they wanted to make something different and they finally are, like I wanna see what a weird new Bethesda game is. It's funny, after seeing so much gameplay of it, it does seem still so much similar to their other jams, but as someone who still plays their games and still enjoys them, like I know some people fell off, like I, I will be playing this one. Obviously I'm gonna be playing this one because I have to make up a for you by video on game ranks. I'll probably talk about it here if I like it, but that's what I'm doing here i'm talking about stuff i like you like how i wrap that up that was pretty smooth uh yeah that's the xbox stuff i got a lot more stuff to talk about in terms of like i said stuff i have played uh but those are the things from the xbox event that stood out to me i know there's a lot more they announced a lot of games and i'm just glad that games are coming but if I didn't talk about something, I'd love to know what interests you specifically. I definitely didn't have time to touch on everything, so hit me up, but also I wanna hear what you think about the big ones, Starfield and Fable. What do you still necessarily want from Fable? What do you want from Starfield? Let's talk about all this stuff down in the comments. I'll be down there with you guys, so thank you. Uh, thank you to YouTube membership people and Patreon people for having my back, all of you guys. If you get what I'm trying to do here, I'm just talking about stuff I love, clicking the like button helps me. Thank you, but that's it. I'm Jake Baldino. Subscribe because video games, pizza's on me.